Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is PB&J Chicken Wings. What? Yup, PB&J. Like peanut butter and jelly chicken wings. And they're awesome, I promise. Kind of peanut butter and jelly. Today we're making chicken wings, barbecue chicken wings with a bit of Thai influence. So we're using a peanut sauce. We're gonna marinate them, we're gonna grill them up. We're gonna toss them in a nice sticky barbecue sauce that's got a great raspberry jam flavor to it. We're gonna finish it off with a spicy peanut sauce for dunking and some peanuts on top. Let's jump right in. So we're gonna start off with about a dozen whole chicken wings and we're gonna go right into our brine or bucket. These chicken wings are really pretty easy to pull off as chicken wings should be, but it requires just a little bit of preparation. So we're gonna to put together a marinade for our chicken wings. We're starting off with the Smoke on Wheels pork marinade, but what's important here is the apple juice and the soy sauce, and that's really the base of what we're doing here. So we're gonna go with one cup of the Smoke on Wheels. Then we're gonna add our peanut. So we've got Kim's Spicy Peanut Sauce, just a great zesty, just a little bit of spice to it. Thai peanut sauce. Sweet, for sure, sweet and salty. We're gonna do one cup of that. Next, we've got some raspberry jalapeno jam. So this is where our J comes in. We're gonna add about a half cup of that raspberry jalapeno jam. Sweet with just a little bit of heat. And last, a quarter cup of fish sauce to make it funky. So a lot of stuff going on in here. We wanna make sure it's all well incorporated. So we're gonna hit it with the immersion blender. Really make sure that we work that jam all the way into all those other liquids. And this marinade should really thicken up as you blend it. Woo! That's funky for sure. I love that fish sauce in there. Really sets off the umami. It's sweet, it's slightly spicy, and you definitely get that peanut butter thing going on. This is what we're gonna soak our wings in overnight. So that's our flavor base. You're probably gonna need a little bit of water to top everything off, but that's fine because we're gonna let this soak for a good 12 hours or so overnight in the refrigerator. Just enough to kind of get things submerged. Just gonna mix everything around so that's evenly distributed. And then we'll take our plate for our brine bucket, lock that into place to keep the wings submerged. So this one goes into the fridge and then 12 hours later, bada bing, bada boom. Plenty of time for those wings to really soak up those flavors, but there's nothing in there that's so strong that it's really gonna damage these wings as far as the structural integrity goes. There's not too much acid, there's not too much salt, just a lot of flavor. All right, so let's get these out of our marinade here. All right, first of all, we don't need all of this excess moisture on the outside, so let's get rid of some of that. Well, it does smell fantastic. It smells like some sort of peanut butter candy, to be honest with you. Just a little bit funkier. All right, so we can leave some of that behind because that's gonna help our rub stick to the wings. So what we're using for our seasoning is the Oak Ridge Barbecue Chili Lime Seasoning. And I've done these wings a number of ways. I've done them naked before, they come out you know, pretty good. I've done them with some barbecue rub, also not bad. Uh, but this is the seasoning I found helps the flavors pop the most, mostly because of that lime. There's a lot of chili flavor going on in here as well, but it's got that bright lime burst that really just sets them off. And getting that really bright burst of lime in a powder form is great because later on, when we go to put these through sauce, we don't have to worry about, oh, am I gonna put lime juice with the sauce? Uh, how am I gonna make that work? No, you just put it on in the rub. You get your lime, you get your chili, you got some salt, some sugar, some garlic, all good things. Today we're gonna be grilling our wings on the Yoder Smokers Flat Top Charcoal Grill. I love this grill. It's a great way to get some nice charcoal sear on the outside of your meat. I mean, it does lots of different things, but it's perfect for chicken wings. So we've got our chimney going with our lump charcoal. We're gonna dump that in as soon as it gets red hot. So also gonna do a nice little crunchy topping to go on our wings. We're gonna start with a cup of lightly salted roasted peanuts, and we just wanna chop these down. All right, that's looking pretty good. 
And then we just want to add some fresh herbs to that. So we're actually going to go with some green onion first and then some cilantro. A couple tablespoons of each. All right, now totally optional step, but we're gonna add just a little bit more of that chili lime seasoning just to set that flavor off as well. Not much, just a little. Great little crunchy condiment topping there for the wings. All right, our charcoal's looking good now, so let's dump it. Got a nice charcoal bed going over here. Plenty of indirect space as well. We're gonna get all the color we need on the outside of our wings, move them off to indirect to finish. All right, so let's get some wings on there. We're going over the direct coals right now. If you're doing this at home on a different grill, say you're doing it on a pellet grill, you're gonna work right over the firebox for this portion. You're trying to get as much color on the outside of these wings as possible. If you're doing this on a gas grill, same thing right over a direct burner, high heat. We're talking about like 500 degrees. And of course you could be doing this on any other charcoal grill like a Kamado style grill or even a, a Weber kettle at home. You just need direct zone, indirect zone. They may not be as big as this one, but you can make it work. All right, starting to get some good color on the outside there. We dropped the coals down a bit to create a little extra space so that we don't scorch these, uh, keeping in mind that there is sugar on the surface from that marinade. So once we've got a little bit of color, just a little bit of color there, we'll flip those and do the same thing on the opposite side and then move these off to indirect to finish. We've got all the char we need on the chicken wings, so I moved them off to the side away from that direct heat. Now what we're looking to do is increase the internal temperature without getting any more color on the outside. As far as internal temperature goes, a lot of times when we talk about chicken, we're talking about chicken breasts and we want to be done around 160, 155, 165 in that range. When it comes to wings, I really like to take that internal a little bit higher, much like the dark meat on the chicken. Really that 175 range is just right for me. That's where you really start to get the velvety mouthfeel and that meat just wants to pull away from those bones. And to me, that gives you just the perfect bite on a chicken wing. All right, guys, these are right where we want them, I think. We're looking at 174, 175. Beautiful color. Temperatures come up. We're going to pull them off. Now, for the finishing barbecue sauce, we've got the raspberry chipotle from Blues Hog. This stuff is essentially like if raspberry jam and barbecue sauce had a baby. It's got that great jam flavor to it, but it's also got everything you've come to know and expect and all of the award-winning properties of the Blues Hog sauce at the same time. So we're not gonna go too heavy. This stuff is sweet, but we do wanna balance out some of the saltiness from the brine. So that's why we're going with a nice sweet barbecue sauce here at the end. Toss it all together, just a light coating and that residual heat on the outside of the wing just really tacks it up. So it's gonna throw all of these into our serving bowl here. But top it off with the drizzle of that spicy peanut sauce that we used in the marinade. And then of course our peanuts and our fresh herbs right on top. There you have it, PB&J wings. Oh man, it's so, it's so savory. The way that marinade really soaks in to accentuate the peanut sauce, but boy, those peanuts on top. And the fresh herbs, just popping off fresh flavor. Chicken wings are perfectly cooked, super juicy. Just the right crunch, just the right balance of salty and sweet. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all of the products featured in today's video. If you enjoyed the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, 
where barbecue legends are made.